Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on Figure Friday, I just wanted to do a quick little update and show off my 16th scale Alpine Bar Gunner. So here he is. He's on the base. He's all ready to go. Let's take him off that. So I wanted to show off a couple of little things that culminated to take the figure from where he was a week ago, which was two-tone, basically. The trousers and the jacket were, you know, it was green and beige, basically. And it looked really dull. And that was just after all the airbrushing had been applied. I took that and applied a lot of pastel work and a lot of oil washes. And that really made him more multi-dimensional, far more interesting to look at figure. Ranger patch there and something I wanted to discuss was my thoughts on Humbrol metal coat which is the sort of that aluminum flat aluminum look on the bar gun and I'll show you this is the can it's great stuff uh, it's a bit hard to get used to using you have to shake it like crazy like way more than an acrylic paint and then you have to leave it for a day and then shake it up again and then you're ready to go but once that's all done with and you get a, a sort of a, a an even coat on the surface it, you need to work it in a bit but then once that's done and it cures after you know six hours you can actually take uh, a little q-tip or something like that and buff it and polish it and I had done that and it there was a sheen off it and I don't know if you can still see it but once I applied the pigments I applied just straight black pigments into sort of the the ejection port and into where the shadows are I applied black pigments there and then faded pans are gray pretty much everywhere else once those were on and the two clear coats had been applied and then the oil wash it really drew down the sheen which I'm really pleased with how it turned out because there's still there's a little bit of a sheen off the gun but not so much that it looks like it isn't in combat and of course this is something else I wanted to mention the weathering the like really heavy-handed weathering I've done here is a couple of layers of pastels so the first layer is the lightest color of pastels and I just applied that straight on with a brush and then I took a slightly darker more neutral brown from MIG pigments mix that up into a filter and then brush that over the same area of course dusted off the top areas and then once that had completely cured I applied another more dark saturated looking pastel I think it was burnt umber to the very top because of course as you know when mud cures on something anything a tank or a jacket or whatever the dry stuff gets lighter and then the newer stuff is always darker because it's wet so that was that yeah he turned out really well I'm really pleased with him I'm looking forward to taking him to IPMS Vancouver this year let me know what you think. Follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter for lots of updates about figures like this and new stock and stuff like that. For to buy figures like this at our online shop, check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. The link's in the description as always. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.